Hello everyone and welcome to my workshop. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm going to show you how to do a kangaroo pocket on the bomber jacket. Before to start the pocket pattern, I'm going to show you the block that I'm using today. It's the bomber jacket pattern that I offer on my Etsy boutique. So you have the first pattern piece that is the back. It's cut on fold. And just for you to know that right now it's a bomber jacket. It's a short jacket with ribbing at the waist. But you could also just elongate it straight and have a long coat pattern. The next piece will be the front. On this block, I did an overlap, as you could see but you don't need to use the overlap all the time depending on your style for example if you have a zipper front you might remove you might want to remove the overlap if you have button you keep it now the next piece is the sleeve that you have to cut two time this sleeve length is according to sewing a ribbing cuff at the bottom of your sleeve if you don't want to put the ribbing at the bottom you could elongate your sleeve by half the measurement or a little less than half the measurement of the ribbing piece. The next piece is the ribbing for the sleeve cuff. You have to cut it two times in a stretchy fabric. It's going to be fold for double the cuff and the stretch has to go the other way around. The next piece is your neck piece also cut in ribbing unfold this so this is half the collar when it's fold like that you could see a little bit more the shape of your collar finally the last piece is the waistband it's also in ribbing cut one because it's unfold now about all the ribbing piece they have to be cut a little smaller than where you're going to sew it i'm showing you now on the sleeve but it's the same idea at the waist or at the neck. You have to remove to the measurement at least 10% of the length. In that case, I remove almost 25%. It all depends on the stretch of your fabric. For today's kangaroo pocket, I retrace my bummer jacket front pattern from the center front to the center front since I want to do a zipper front opening. So I'm now going to trace my center front as it is. Before doing the pocket, I wanna make a little precision about those apparent zipper. When you do any apparent zipper, you have to measure what's going to show from the zipper and then remove from your bodice half of the distance that you have fabric to fabric. When you have very narrow zipper, it doesn't matter that much, but when you have a wider zipper, just like this one, it's going to push all your garment towards the back and the fit might be affected. So here I have a two centimeter from fabric to fabric. So I would have to remove from my front one centimeter, half the distance. So in that case, from the center front going in is giving me my seam line and you could see that the original center front will be the end of the seam allowance now this is the kangaroo pocket that i will show you today it will be attached at the center front and attached at the bottom of the jacket with a diagonal opening now to find the placement of your pocket you could put the pattern on yourself and just put your hand on the front to make sure that your pocket that you want to do is going to be comfortable and get the right angle and just trace a line pretty much where you want the opening then with your ruler you're going to square from center front touching the top part of your diagonal line and same thing at the bottom square from the bottom touching the bottom part of the diagonal line now we could fix the diagonal line now before to go any further i'm going to give you my measurement but it's all according to the bodice or the pattern that you're starting with for this one my pocket measurement if i calculate that i have a one centimeter seam allowance at the bottom the real length of the pocket is about 25 centimeter. On the side, again, I have a one centimeter at the bottom, 
So the corner would be at 11.5 centimeter. Now the width at the bottom, again, I calculate from the seam line, I have 19.5 centimeter. On top, I have 8.5 centimeter. And that should give you a diagonal line of 17.5 more or less. Now the plan is finished. You're going to take another piece of paper and put it under so you could trace your pocket. Pin it or place a weight over, then go all around with your tracing wheel. Here's the trace pocket. So now you remember that we already have the seam allowance at the center front and also at the bottom. The side area and the top area of the pocket need seam allowance since the new line that we did on the front. And I'm going to show you how to do a self fold facing for the opening of the pocket, just like this. So if we do see inside, you have fabric much more than a seam allowance. For this example, I'm going to trace parallel to my opening a four centimeter hem or self facing. Then you're going to fold on the final line. Then add your seam allowance on the top of the pocket and on the side of the pocket. Then you could cut all around. After that, you could open your pattern, so unfold, and cut your four centimeter line. Your pocket is now finished. You're only missing the notches, so right at the fold line on both sides, and also the grain line that will be parallel to the front. This piece will be cut two times, and if you struggle to cut the notch in the corner like that, you could just fold your pattern and use your notcher just like if it was a straight line. Now for the bodice itself, it's going to be all the same except two new notches, one at the top of the pocket and one at the bottom side of the pocket. And of course, your front is also cut two times. You finish your new bomber jacket with a kangaroo pocket. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.